Hey, you look stressed. Yeah, I'm trying to migrate to the cloud, but I also have to come up with this encryption strategy. Like, I don't have time for this. I've already got my hands full. Okay, well, I have some good news. With Google moving to the cloud, we'll actually give you encryption by default. Encryption by default? Can you show me how that works? Sure thing. Let's take a look. Okay. Encryption at rest is central to our security strategy, and there are several options based on the customer security needs. By default, data at rest is encrypted in all Google Cloud Platform products. For certain classes of data, or where you have a requirement to manage your own encryption key, we give customers the option of managing their own keys using Customer Managed Encryption Keys, or CMEC for short, using a managed service called Cloud KMS. Then, for a small percentage of workloads, there may be a requirement to generate your own encryption key or manage it on-premise, and for that, we provide the option to use Customer Supplied Encryption Keys, or CSEC for short. Let's see how this works. By default, when I upload a file to cloud storage, it will automatically be encrypted at rest with Google Managed Keys, as we can see here. This is transparent to the user, but a lot happens behind the scenes. Data is split into chunks, and each chunk is encrypted with a unique data encryption key. Then, these data encryption keys are encrypted with their own key encryption keys stored in Google's KMS. The data chunks are then distributed across Google storage systems and replicated in encrypted form for backup and disaster recovery. And this happens in real time, all by default, and transparent to the user. Well, that's a relief, but like, I still have to manage our key rotation policies. And I've got keys that I have to do hardware-backed encryption for. What am I supposed to do about that? Uh, no worries. We can handle that, too. Let me show you how. Sure. Cloud KMS is a hosted key management service that lets you manage crypto keys for your cloud services similar to the way you would do it on-premise. It's also integrated into Cloud IAM and Cloud Auto Logging, so you can manage permissions on individual keys and monitor how they're used. We'll start by creating a new key ring. First, we name it. Then we can choose the location. I can make it global. However, the ring location matters based on where my resources are. I'm going to pick US Central as that's where my workloads are. Now I create my key. First, I can specify the key name. Then each key has a purpose, which defines the cryptographic capabilities of the key. I'm going to choose to use this to do symmetric encrypt or decrypt. I can then choose if this is software or hardware backed. If there is a requirement to use hardware, we can use HSM. Cloud HSM is a cloud-hosted hardware security module service that allows you to host encryption keys and perform cryptographic operations in a cluster of FIPS 140-2 Level 3 certified HSMs, all managed by Google for you. Next, I can specify the rotation period, which is the time between when the new key versions are generated automatically. And let's say I want to go ahead and use hardware encryption via HSM and make the rotation period 30 days and click Create. Let's go back to our storage bucket example. I can create a new bucket and configure it to use my new customer and manager encryption key policies. I give it a name. Region is still US Central with my keys and HSMs. And now I can change the encryption options from Google Manage Key to Customer Manage Key. As soon as I do that, my key ring and keys pop up, and I can choose which one to use. Lastly, I need to authorize a service account to perform encrypt and decrypt operations with the key I just selected. Granted. Now, when I upload a file, whether it's a few kilobytes or a few petabytes, it will be encrypted using my key. So let's upload a file called Super Important File. And you can see it's indeed using custom managed keys, and it's the actual key I selected. When I click on it, I can open it. Now let's go back to my keys. The whole point of CMAC using KMS is give customers control over their key policies. So let's say I want to go and now disable that key. Once I disable it, although not immediately, I will no longer be able to access the file. Let's try it. Software key has been disabled. I try to open the file. I can see that I can no longer access it. And the error I get is the Cloud KMS has been disabled or destroyed. In the KMS UI, I can see that the key I was using was indeed disabled. That's what we mean by custom managed keys. 
Wow, so now I have the option to choose what encryption strategy makes sense for me, and I can mix and match for different parts of my cloud migration. That's right. Encryption is a complex topic, so we work really hard to make sure the full complexity is abstracted away. That way, you get the best innovations and control where you need it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content.